is going on guys this is guitar man for CODDZ 115 and today's video was a top five map remakes I want to see in black ops 3 zombies now we all have our own opinions leave your list in the comments below and let's jump right into the video coming in at number five is nuketown zombies I really think that they were gonna do a really good job on nuketown zombies in black ops 2 and it turned out not really the case uh, they didn't expand the map at all everyone thought the map would be expanded uh, there was no wonder weapon there was no Easter egg uh, you couldn't get in the fallout shelter and that was a really big thing back in those times uh, everyone trying to make a video on how to get into the fallout shelter in nuketown zombies and uh, it just never came to fruition and uh, having the bus sound there made no sense and the map really didn't really make sense the only cool thing about it was yeah uh, while you're playing the map you hear audio quotes from Richtofen and uh, it would have been interesting if you had to get to round 25 for the zombies eyes to turn blue and maybe the Easter egg can start that would be a pretty cool uh, 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 gesture and a different way of doing an Easter egg but that just wasn't the case with Nuketown zombies and I really think if they went back and reimagined it in Black Ops 3 they could do uh, a, a better job with a uh, better better job with it and uh, we could see all the things that we expected from Nuketown zombies in Black Ops 3. Coming in at number 4 is Verruckt. Uh, Verruckt was the second map to come out for um, uh, Call of Duty Zombies and in my opinion you know it is just scary the first time I played it it was you know it, the map was tight it was scary had a very ominous feel to it I mean anytime you're in you're in a uh, insane asylum in any game it's a it's a very scary feeling and it was perfect for zombies uh, with the whole lore and everything uh, I would like to see this map reimagined uh, you know having its its own uh, map map specific uh, wonder weapon uh, maybe an area where you can go outside go into different rooms in the hospital make sure the hospital is more expanded so this way you have the whole map of Doris and perhaps you have other rooms that you can get into uh, a lot of other perks uh, maybe a map specific perks uh, just uh, different things to make the map uh, more interesting as a, a reimagined map and like a, a rehash of this map because uh, it is definitely one of my favorite maps to play uh, if I just want to get sort of scared and uh, and jump into zombies and have have a good time. Uh, coming in at number three is another another one of these maps uh, that are has a very creepy feel to it. It's uh, Shino Numa from World at War, uh, and uh, you notice the, the the trend of World at War maps. Those maps were just great. Shino Numa was definitely uh, uh, the map that came after uh, Verruckt, but uh, uh, it seemed like a big map. Uh, it really wasn't a big map, but I love the exploration that you had to do, uh, opening different doors, getting the different traps, and finding these random perks uh, in those places. Uh, they did it. They did the random perks uh, uh, better in Shino Numa than they did in Nuketown Zombies, because at least this way, if you had the points, you can open up all the perks and definitely get you know get to them faster rather than rather than waiting rounds. But uh, Shino Numa could be uh, reimagined, so you have uh, a, just a, a bigger area. Maybe some underground tunnels would really work, just like what they did in Origins. Just expanded, um, you know, an Easter egg of its own. Uh, it's it's map Pacific wonder weapon uh, things of that sort and it would love I would love to see the original characters have their banter in this uh, in this swampy uh, crazy forest right uh, it would just be a really cool map to reimagine uh, coming to number two is Kino der Toten uh, another one of those maps that sort of play on the creep factor right uh, you have uh, the, the, the the theater you have the, uh, the, the the Nova crawlers you do have the original perks and uh, this pretty much goes for all of the maps in this list uh, just fill the map with appropriate perks for that map you don't got to put every single one of them in there but make sure that uh, stamina up and yeah, definitely your, your four original perks and maybe uh, maybe your own maps uh, map specific perks and map specific uh, wonder weapons would definitely work for this um, you know bring back old wonder weapons add in some new ones uh, just different uh, formulas but in Kino I would like to see other uh, the other theaters be uh, expanded upon maybe a more outside area that you can go into maybe the alleyway uh, expanded or the or the street in front of the theater of, of Kino expanded to and uh, there's a lot of rooms if you go up in Kino that are really just seen and not ever uh, being being played in and it would be uh, really interesting to go in those areas so this way the map is more expanded 
And coming in at number one is Nocturne and Toten. Uh, for me, it, this was the first map I ever played, and it's it's you know definitely uh, uh, stands the test of time. Uh, who doesn't love Nocturne and Toten, the first map ever? And if they reimagined it in Black Ops 3 Zombies, there's to totally tons of things that they can do to make this map just a, a crazy good uh, if, if it's not already crazy good uh, I would love to see perks in this map I would love to see uh, its own map specific wonder weapon uh, maybe map specific perks uh, this pretty much goes through all all of the uh, all the maps on the list, but uh, in Nocturne Toten, I would love to go outside and actually go into the court or the courtyard area. I would love to see uh, just maybe more buildings that you can go into. Uh, you know, you can take stuff underground. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, uh, areas that you don't have to expand the map outward. You can expand you can uh, expand the map. Uh, linear so this way you have more areas to cover more and just more things to discover and uh, an easter egg in that map would be great too uh it's nighttime it's you know it's, it's slight fog you have the zombies coming out it's just a creepy creepy feeling and just fill that map with perks fill that map with easter eggs and you definitely have a great reimagined uh, Nocturne and Toten, and that goes for uh, every map on the list. So let me know what you guys think of my list. I definitely want to see your list in the comments uh, below. Uh, what uh, different things that you, that you want to see in Black Ops 3. Maybe you don't want uh, remade maps. Maybe you want brand new maps. And, uh, and, and there you go, guys. So I'm Guitar Man, and I'll see you later.